up guys, Matt, welcome back to another 40 at the shop, this time episode four. We're here, we've got a lot of ton of new arrivals, a new team member, we'll get to that in a second. And uh, we just dropped our merch as well. We'll walk over to the rack real quick. This is the Kobe uh, Vault T. Spent a lot of work on this. Um, we dropped it yesterday on 824 Kobe Day. And uh, we've got a full size run left right now. Um, sold like half of them yesterday, but we still have a few left. I'd say, I think we have like 50 or 60 left. I made a little over 100 of them, so we sold like half of them yesterday. But yeah, man, everyone's loving them. Everyone seems to love them. You know, it's going to be on the same blank as the MJT, so they fit exactly the same. We've had a few questions about if they're gonna fit the same as the MJTs, they'll fit exactly the same. Um, like I said, they're on the same blank, and it's just gonna be the same quality, same good quality, same heavyweight tee, great uh, quality print as well. You can wash this, dry this. You won't have to worry about any cracking or anything. Um, but yeah, we should have a great full day ahead of us. Uh, let's go ahead and get some new arrivals. All right, so as we like to start off with new arrivals every video, we've got some insane, insane ones this time. Two pairs of 85s, not one, but two pairs. Uh, we'll start off with the cleaner pair right here. This is a pair of 1985 Air Jordan 1 breads. Neither of these are for sale unless someone comes in and offers me a crazy offer. Just because they're too cool for me to sell, just, just one of those pairs that would just be really hard for me to sell. This is a size 13 too, so this is Michael Jordan's size, um, which makes them even more expensive. And the crazy thing about this pair is that they even still have some stars left on the bottom, which is pretty insane. They have a lot of drag left, and this is actually a wearable pair. You can see the sole's still flexible, um, like it's still squishy, so that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, obviously in insane conditions. Probably the best condition pair of 85 that I've ever seen in person. Um, but they're almost like too clean. Like I like it, but like I kind of like some distressing sometimes. So um, they're cool, but I do like them a little bit more beat up for my personal collection. I just also got a new pair for my personal collection. They're a little bit more beat up. Um, they actually came with the original box too. I'll, just, I'll give it, send a picture of that Raul so he can pop that up on the screen, but those are crazy. And then we also got this pair. This is definitely a little bit more beat up. This is a little too far of beat for me, <laughs> but still super cool to have. Um, it's they pair of the metallic navies in a size seven and a half right here. Um, we got these for a steal, so I couldn't complain. So again, just a cool display piece. This pair really isn't wearable. Looks like the person that had them tried to wear and put some shoe goo on the bottom. And looks like the soles are cracking. So yeah, the pair, this pair is probably not too wearable. You can hear that right there. That's not a good sign. Just to give you a difference, if you want to hear, so you guys can know. Like, you hear that? It sounds like you're hitting rubber. And then this one, sounds like you're hitting like, wood or plastic or something so yeah nonetheless two great pairs i'm very excited to have both of these and uh we also filled up the wall a little bit more the vintage wall so it looks crazy now um added a bunch of little posters and knickknacks and whatnot but yeah man i'm super excited to finally have some 85s in the store you know our store's really jordan themed so this was a big milestone for me was to get some 85s in the store and we got two pairs in a week which i was not expecting at all as y'all can see uh the counter is getting super full again so i think we're gonna have to add another section for more shoes we just added the other row last video two weeks ago so it's been crazy man the buyouts have been insane y'all keep bringing me good stuff and i just can't pass up on the prices y'all have been holding down on the prices too so we've been buying like crazy trading like crazy we've been doing a lot of pairs for trags i <laughs> have our inventory has probably grown by like 30 pairs just from the reverse mochas because every time I get a pair, someone walks in with 10 pairs to trade for them. So it's been crazy. I've had so many pairs come in this past couple weeks. But yeah, like I said right here, we're pretty much all full again. What I think we're going to do is we're going to have to take away this cabinet right here and uh, pretty much just keep going with the shoe wall. Um, that'll add another like 50 pairs on this wall if we can do that. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Uh, but these are just some of the new stuff right here. Some mid, some good stuff, some Paisleys, neon uh, 95 fours, some different stuff, Posty Crocs. Um, but we definitely got some more heat in the case. Since last video, y'all have not seen these. We got some Mummies, 11 and a half DS. We've got some Chunky Dunkies. And we've got some Grateful Deads as well. Some crazy heat. These actually, these two came from the same guy that sold me the 85s, the Metallic Navy. So that was pretty dope. He brought in some heat, man. It was just stuff like crazy stuff after crazy stuff every box was like exciting to open i didn't know what was going to be next so but yeah we got some chunky donkeys which this is another pair i was really excited to have in the store not my favorite shoe not something i'd really wear but you know just a sick pair to have in the store got some grateful deads for the first time as well and this is like our fifth pair of mummies and i'm sure they'll fly because every single time we've had these they've literally sold within a week so i'm sure we'll have those those will be gone by the end of the week but nice little three pair three Nice little three pack of uh, SBs right here that we got this week. Some some of the best ones to drop in the past couple years. 
these been sitting for like ever. She probably wore them like twice. Bro, toast. You don't have the box for this one, just this container. Yeah, this is good. That coin. Bro, What do you want for these? Did you have a price in mind, bro? Huh? I, we're, I'm down for store credit, but did you have a price in mind? I did. I did. Did you have a price in mind on these? No. no. Like 150 store credit? Yeah. Okay. What about it? Uh, the safflowers, I'd be pretty low on, bro. It's kind of a tough one. Yeah. Uh, like 120 store credit? Yeah. Oh, I'll get it. 120. Uh, 270. Okay. Yeah. I do that. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna let the Yeah, go for it, bro. Yeah. We got some uh, couple pairs right here. Probably the, uh, the start of the show. The bread toes right here. Clean pair. Nice little no star loss. All right, so bro's taking the Bulls tee right here, the basketball Bulls tee. Great tee. Vault tee, of course. Can't go wrong. And then uh, the Syracuse Dunk Eyes. And yeah. <laughs> All right, so just a little recap of that trade we just did with my boy. Um, so he ended up taking the Syracuse highs, it was a BNDS pair, and he also took some vintage and a vault tee. So we got the size seven wide bread toes, BNDS pair once again, absolutely no star loss. Um, the only flaw with this one is that there is no box. It comes with this container, which I guess is better than nothing. Rep box is nice. Um, but both pairs are extremely clean, and bread toes are obviously a great pair Jordan wants to have. And then, some Safflower 700s, not my favorite. I'm really not a big fan of these 700 V3s, but I got them for a good enough price to where I think I can make some money on them. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with both of them. He ended up taking, like I said, the Syracuses and a couple T's, and I gave him 120 store credit for these and 150 store credit for these. Um, so I definitely think we can make it work. All right, so something we've been starting to do is hanging up a lot of like older beater pairs up top. Um, it started with my classic green fours. I don't know if some of y'all follow me on Instagram. I posted a video of me wearing those. They ended up crumbling. Um, I wore them here at f just for a shift and they ended up just falling apart on me. So I was like, you know what? Let's throw them up in the ceiling. Those are all the way over there. And then slowly, kind of after that, I started randomly accumulating some like cooler, older pairs. I was like, you know what? It'd be dope if we kind of just filled the ceiling up with older pairs. So I'm gonna show you all the pairs we've gotten so far. And also if you guys have any like older, not heat, just like random stuff, older like five, sixes, any older retros that are like yellowed and maybe not wearable anymore, we'll take them for cheap. And if you wanna toss us a steal, we'll bring them in here and throw them up on the rafters. Again, they won't be for sale or anything. They'll just be up here on the rafters. But first up, we got a pair of Dooms right here. These are like the most cooked pair of Dooms I've ever seen in my life. I posted a video on TikTok about them the other day and it did pretty well, but the most beat pair of Dooms I've ever seen. I don't know if the camera can see it, but like, there was like, they were so worn through that they had to add a piece of rubber on the bottom of the sole to like, for them to still have like a sole. So those are like absolutely cooked. Uh, we got some cool gray fives over here, the 2011 pair. Uh, some 95 Concords over there. That was are pretty crazy. I could not believe I was able to find those. Uh, some 06 metallic fives right here. And then what started it all, the classic greens over there. That was the first pair that we threw up on the rafters. But yeah, like I said, if you guys have any older pairs, uh, come sell them to us for cheap if you want. Um, just if, you're, if they're just sitting in your closet and they can't be worn, bring them to us. We'll throw them up in the rafters, put them to... Shit. All right, well, I guess the perfect introduction for this guy right here. But uh, that loud bang, he just knocked over his humidifier. Uh, this is Astro. This is... Uh, I think fourth day on the job. He's been, uh, he's been pretty rowdy, but we're getting there. We're training him and uh, yeah, come by and see him whenever you guys uh, come to the store. He'll be here pretty much every day that I'm here because he's a puppy, he's biting me right now. But yeah, man, it's my first dog. I'm happy to have him. It's my first dog I've ever had and uh, he's pretty adorable. He's, like I said, he's pretty rowdy, but he'll be a new personality here at the shop. Um, our third team member, me, Logan, and uh, Astro now. All right, so here are the orders we've got. Um, so far, like I said, we dropped them yesterday. A lot of them sold in store too, but y'all are crazy, man. I appreciate y'all. We gotta ship all these out. We'll probably have these out, all of them out by Monday. Um, we're still getting orders like as we speak, so um, the stack's probably gonna be twice as big by Monday. Um, but I'm just gonna have them all packed up over the weekend and ship them all out by Monday. But again, thank you guys for the continued support. This is crazy, man. I never thought 
y'all would love it so much, I, as much as I do. Um, seems like the teas are a hit, so we're gonna keep coming at y'all. As long as we keep getting orders like this um, and keep getting supported every drop, we're gonna keep coming out with them. So keep, continue the support and we will continue with the merch. Got a puppy <laughs> and uh, got a band tee. Sting and Def Leppard and uh, typical cargos. The classics. Some typical sambas. Uh, typical loading fit. <laughs> All right, and uh, for me, we've got the uh, the new Kobe T with some dog hair on it. Um, Stussy shorts, of course. What else would I be wearing? Uh, these Saturn golds. I thought they matched pretty well with the uh, gold on the T, so that's why I went with the Saturn golds today. Um, and my Stussy and Y hat. And yeah, that's the fit for today. All right, so my boy Daniel's here once again. Some great pairs for us. Um, he's got a pair of the Bart Simpson SB Lowe's. Um, had two pairs of these now. They've both sold like within the same week that we've had them. So love to have these in store. And then we've got some... I have... Oh, Sands. I thought they were the Carbons. No, they're Aerods. Okay. Oh, Aerods. Okay, cool. What size is this one? 13. Oh, yeah. So they ordered the 13 on this one. But why, why'd you order 13? Because I thought the 12 was going to be too small. Are these too big? They're, a, they're doable. They're just a little big. I'll try one. Definitely do it. Don't show my socks, they're very dirty. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's doable. It's yeah. a little bit of heel slippage, but it's doable. Yeah. <laughs> my socks are nasty, dude. So, Matt and I actually, uh, Matt and I actually worked out a trade. Um, both of these for those 85 breads back oh, there. Yeah, I guess so. Really, uh, <laughs> Let's talk numbers. Let's do. What are you thinking, Daniel? I always give you a good deal. I know. Barts. 250 on the Bart. Lowest house is 300. Sounds pretty good. Let me just. Uh, <laughs> 220. 220. So was that 470 total? Okay. Uh, would you do 200 flat? Do 210. I'll just do the 250. Just do 200. So 450. Sure. That's cool. All right. Yeah. All right, brother. Always a pleasure, man. So, uh, it's new rivals. Get these pushes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course it is, man. We already know you get the good deal. Good sizes. Sizes. Yeah, absolutely. No GS sizes here. What a deal. <laughs> uh, so Airats. I almost said sand again, but Airats. Uh, size 13 DS. And then, honestly, a fan favorite, the Bards. People have really been liking these, so excited to put these out on the shelf and uh, hopefully get them sold. Hopefully. <laughs> um, where'd you get these out, bro? They were from Mariano. Okay. Um, these look kind of off to me, man, honestly. I mean, we wouldn't buy them anyways. I really don't do like designer stuff at all. Yeah. Um, but just holding them and smelling them, they look kind of fake to me. Um, I mean, I've seen these pairs in hand. Just the stitching is way better quality and they're like a lot heavier. And the smell is just kind of off too. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, the insole stitching looks kind of off too, man. Yeah. Good one, man. Sorry about that, man. No, hey. How much did you pay for them? No, it was a gift. Oh, it was a gift? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty I'm 98% sure that these are fake, man, honestly. Yeah. Gotcha. Sorry about that, man. Uh, hey, okay. yeah. So that is something we offer guys is free legit checks. Um, I don't think he came in here for a legit check. He actually just wanted to sell them to us. A um, few things were off about them, just the smell, the stitching, and then just, I don't know, just the overall construction of a shoe, especially when it comes to designer shoes, like chunky ones, especially like that. They're really heavy, and you can just feel the quality of the leather and everything, so they were just definitely off. Um, no diss to him or anything, but just have to let him know the truth. And um, yeah, like I said, that's something we do offer is free legit checks. If you guys ever need to come in store or do a meetup in store and have them legit checked on the spot, we do that for free, no charge. Um, so yeah, you can feel, you can rest assured that your shoes are real at the vault. He said it. It's just slept on, man. I don't know why uh, these are going for so cheap. It's actually a cool shoe. Oh my goodness. 
Okay. Oh. Were you DMing us? Were you, oh, you were DMing us, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Huh? Yeah, we still got it. Yeah. Are those? Oh, the contacts. It's pretty sure I don't like this. That one. Uh, what the the Omex? Ow. <laughs> Every time I see that box, I'm uh, hoping it's an Air Max. You've been bamboozled. Uh, these are actually these are kind of clean, dude. I'm like, dude, like, I don't know. These are pretty clean. It's a cool it's superstar. Too bad. These are used. I'll probably hold off on those, honestly. Just don't see those ones. What about the, the trainers? Probably hold off. I have not had any work with those. Make a pass pile right here. Gosh, those are Air Maxes. Wouldn't mind a pair of those Air Maxes. These are what? Used? Used. Used. Where'd you get these out, bro? I got them in a train. On train block. I think the stripes like really far up. Just wanna uh, just verify that real quick. Sure, maybe you're good. Size Checks out. Uh, Daniel, does this look like, really far up to you, dude? Oh, that's fine. That was good to you. Mm -hmm. If there's something wrong with it, Daniel will catch him. That's for sure. <laughs> they look fine. Well, nothing's like. Nothing's like. Do you get them out of hours or something? Uh, I don't, my friend had them on sneakers. And they came with that box, really? Yeah. That's weird. That's weird. So it was considered OG all? I guess. Yeah. We'll count it. I feel like when you look for something on StockX, everything you don't want to see comes up. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. when you're looking for a shoe. You said how much? 180. What'd you do, 130? 40. It's uh, you do, you're doing store credit, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 150 is fine. That's fine. And then my son's one You said how much? 170? Uh, uh I do 150 man, just because of the box and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Alright guys. 180. These are DS, right? Yeah. It's a size 12 women's. Is it how much? 170? That's cool. Okay. 80? That sounds fine. Let me just double check. I got them on a Slicy website. I can't believe they brick so bad. They're not even bad. Like. Yeah, that's fine. 80 is fine. So. You're looking at 550 work, total. Right. Do you wanna? I uh, can see you're for sure gonna get the grapes. You wanna look around for the other stuff? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the grapes are over there. I'll grab them for you. You, you were the you were the first person in line, right? Yeah. This is this is the uh, first person in line at grand opening. This guy's a homie. You know what? Kobe T on the house, brother. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. So Kobe T on the house for this guy because they want support. He showed up in the vault T too, so <laughs> can't be too mad about but that. This one didn't plan. Yeah. I just wore this one to school. And I just, Hell yeah, man. I just. I you want a large on that one? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you still got 265. That one's on the house, bro. Yeah, let me, let me get these. Those two? Okay, cool. Yeah. So 250. You got 15 left. Want to find a t-shirt or something? Yeah. Okay, but yeah, just let me know, man. So bro's taking core purples, VNDS pair. We just got these in yesterday. Ten and a half, right, on these? Okay, you want to check the other shoe on that one? They're clean. They got the extra laces right here, too. Yeah. These are dope. They look like 85 laces. And then... It's also taking a great pair of fives. Great, great pair of fives. Crispy. Check them out. Make sure everyone's good. Yeah? yeah. Alright, bro. Let me get you bagged up and you're good to go, man. Yeah, of course. Rep that Kobe T, please, bro. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, man. There you go. Appreciate you, bro, man. Stay safe. Take care, man.
All right, so my boy just came in. It was actually the kid that was the first in line at the vault uh, grand opening. So I appreciate you, brother, for showing love and continuing to show love. He pulled up in his MJT, and I was like, you know what? It's only right to give him a Kobe T. So I gave him a Kobe T on the house, and he ended up taking a couple pairs from us, and he brought us a couple pairs as well. Um, first up, we've got these Stussy Air Force One mids. Slept on shoe, honestly. I think the only thing that's kind of hindering these from being more popular is the mid cut, obviously, but. Even still, I think it's a good looking shoe, and especially how everyone's style is nowadays. They wear pants that cover this anyway, so you wouldn't even be able to tell that this is the mid from the low. So I think this is a pretty cool shoe, honestly. I like them. I love Stussy, obviously. Um, next up, the tie-dye Jordan 1s. Another good pair of Jordan 1s. Um, not something I would wear personally, but I definitely can see the appeal on these. It's a good pair. Got that tie-dye print all around. Decent quality. Cool shoe. And a 12 women's as well, so that's actually a bigger size for women, so men can wear this colorway as well. It's nice. And then, for some reason, this box, it looks like it's from an outlet or something. I don't know, but it actually is the original box. Like, it says muslin right here. Um, they're not fake. I don't know if you guys are start commenting that, but they're definitely not fake. I mean, I've seen pairs like this happen before. Um, I checked for B-grade, and it wasn't B-grade, but just sometimes when Nike runs short on, like, boxes, and they still have, like, more shoes, they'll just throw them in a random Jordan box and slap a label on there. But I mean, it's a Jordan three muslin size 10 and a half label. So I don't know, um, I guess it's still OG all. Maybe I'll just put black box on the label or something. I don't know, but it's a VNDS pair, super clean. Um, this is a 10 and a half. We'll probably throw these up for a good price, 240, 250. Uh, and then lastly, I actually think this is a really cool shoe, the Bape Supra Superstars. Actually a pretty cool shoe in my opinion. Um, you got like that cream sole, which looks really nice on the shoe. And you obviously got that just classic superstar silhouette. Um, it's inverted too, so like on this side, it's got the superstar, um, bape star. This side's got the three stripes, and then on the inside, it's the same thing. So cool shoes right here. It's my boy, man. I appreciate the continued support from him. It's his, uh, he's been in here a few times, but yeah, like I said, he was the first one in line for grand opening. So you gotta show love to that guy, man. So yeah, great trade. Look glad those came in. Show. The star of the show for this one? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with a, with a curveball here and say the Stussies. Honestly, for me personally, I know there's some more heat pairs in this buyout, but just for me, I think this is a cool slept on shoe, very affordable shoe right now as well. Like I'll probably put these up for like 160, 170 max. So definitely affordable, good looking, versatile. It's gotta be the Stussy mids for me, man. All right, guys, that'll do it for episode four of Full Day at the Shop. A little bit of a slower day today, but we gotta show you guys what it's like. Um, some days are slower, some days are busier. It was still a good day though, I'd say a successful day. We did some cool trades, sold some cool stuff, but uh, we'll catch you on the next one later.